We're on our way to Wheeler Park, where the iconic OKC sign and Ferris wheel are located. This bifurcated protrusion from the bridge represents Oklahoma's state bird, the scissor tail flycatcher. Yay, we made it to Wheeler Park. I was afraid there would be a hike to get to the OKC sign, but it was a straight shot right after parking, which is totally free and spacious. In 1904, the Oklahoma Zoo was located here at Wheeler Park before moving to its current location in 1923. It's a little hard for me to imagine uh, that there yeah, used yeah. to be oh, a zoo see, right see, here uh, on this land. You can see the Devon Tower from here, which is the tallest. You can see Devon Tower from this park. Devon Tower is Oklahoma's tallest building. And it was constructed, started construction October 6, 2009, and was completed in October 2012. Okay. Okay. Wheeler Park is one of our last bucket list items before leaving Oklahoma, so we wanted to make sure to get a few pictures. The park is closed on Mondays, and from Tuesdays to Thursdays, the park is open from 4 to 9 p.m. On Fridays, it is open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Saturdays is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Sundays open from 12 to 9 p.m. So we were lucky to have come on a Friday as soon as they opened when we knew it probably wouldn't be crowded. A single ride on the Ferris wheel costs six dollars. You can also get a day pass for ten dollars and a season pass for twenty dollars and kids three and under are free. They're closed on Mondays. Our oldest kid thought it would be fun to practice her stretches here at the park. Wheeler Park is a great place to come for a picnic. The nice ambience from the music and the hammocks surrounding the Oklahoma River are a nice refreshing touch. Is it hard to get in? Oh, there's a water. It's the Oklahoma River. Our daughter decided to do some more stretching. She does this all the time at home and has even tried to sleep in a split. How do you do that? I'm not really sure who she gets this from because surely my husband and I don't do such things. The park provides a lot of fun little activities and games like this one.
we had brought our own football to throw and catch, but the park actually provided one as well. <laughs> See that little white building over there? We thought it was a nice enclosed space with a ping pong table and checkers if you need to get out of the rain or direct sunlight. Checkers? Okay, ready, Joanna? Is it, you have the ball? Yeah, we don't have it. Oh no, you can kill me here. After Wheeler Park, we headed to the Devon Tower, Oklahoma's tallest building. Its construction started October 6, 2009 and was completed in October 2012, which means it took about three years to complete. There are 50 stories, which is two stories less than the 52-story BOK Tower in Tulsa, Oklahoma, yet still is the tallest building in Oklahoma. Devon Tower is the headquarters of the Devon Energy Corporation. Outside the tower are some shaded seating. Inside the tower are some restaurants along with business offices. The rotunda floor is inspired by the Nautilus, a shellfish that has survived unchanged for millions of years. This design honors the precision and persistence of Devon's work and serves wow. as a reminder of one of Devon's corporate values. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. One of the corporate values is integrity, as you can see inscribed here. Integrity defines the core of every relationship we have. The, the kids had a lot of fun going on the escalator to the second floor. From the second floor, you can see the Nautilus design a lot better. We make our way to the fancy restaurant, Ooh, The Vast, which is found on the 49th floor Ooh, of the Devon Tower. Looks silky. From there, Ooh, you can get a bird's eye view of the city. This is so beautiful. Ooh, it looks like, you see, it's like a mirror. Yeah, like that. Fast is found on the 49th floor of the Devon Tower. It's a great place for dates, special occasions, and reunions. It's a little pricey for just for fun, but can be a place just for fun too. Six, uh, they can do six to seven on this floor, sometimes one of them. 
the waitresses were kind enough to let us check out one of the event rooms where the kids had a ball pointing on landmarks from the windows. Can you see the Oklahoma State Capitol way over there? There aren't any other floors. Can you push it? See, Anna? The half of the tower is so tall. There's this. Right next to Devon Tower are the Myriad Botanical Gardens. From October 6th to the 22nd, the outside grounds for the so gardens the, has been transformed for a pumpkin bill festival. You see how down there is pumpkin? What? Uh huh. You're okay. Those are big fish though. Yeah, maybe there's some small fish. They're really pretty. Mm -hmm. huh. This festival started today. We had no idea there is a nine dollar admission fee to enter. I thought it was okay anyway. This is where the free Myriad Botanical Garden playground is located. But unfortunately, because of the festival, the playground had been taken over by it, so we had to move on. So, we went inside one of the garden buildings to find an exhibit showcasing men and women who have lived past 100 years of age. The oldest I think we have found was 109 years old. I hope I can live to experience the changes that are to come in the next 50 to 60 years. So much wisdom and experience is written all over these faces. Thanks for joining us in exploring Oklahoma. Have a great week. What sign is on? What sign is on?